It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl. Here we are in our 25th year, and we welcome you today to a middle school competition. We have six outstanding players. Let's meet them now. First, from Benjamin Tasker Middle School, say hello, please, to Haley Hammond. Sydney Schumar and Patrick Ryan. And from Martin Luther King Middle School, we say hello to Ann Therese Greaves, her brother Liam Greaves, and Zachary Landau. And now here are the categories of questions we use on Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body systems. We'll see how much you know about yourself, about things like breathing and growing, and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to the difficulty of the questions with the easier questions worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points apiece. No penalties ever for incorrect answers. Into the two rounds, one of these two schools will come back to play Oxen Hill for the chance to become the second of this year's four middle school semifinalists. So we have a lot at stake. Let's go over and make sure that everything works properly before we begin. Sydney, would you try your buzzer for me? Thank you. Good luck to you, to Patrick and to Haley. And Liam, would you try yours? Thank you, young man. Good luck to you, to Anne, Therese, and to Zachary. All right. Are we ready to play our game? Let's do this. May the better team win. We go alphabetically B before M. So Benjamin Tasker and Sydney, start the bowl, please. Green things for 15, please. Green things for 15 to start out our game. Teams, there are a lot of slang terms for money, like moolah and loot. But there are two leafy greens that are also slang terms for money. Kale is one. The other is the main component of salads. Martin Luther King. Lettuce. Lettuce, that's right. The mafia and the lettuce. Good. Go. Green. Um, Dateline science for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Doctors are now treating some people with severe spinal cord injuries for the very first time with stem cells that have been harvested from where? Stem cells harvested from embryos, embryonic stem cells. Very controversial here in this country. Try again, please, Green. Let's get physical for 15, please. Physical for 15 points. Teams, on Saturn's moon Enceladus, you might say that it's kind of a seltzer moon up there because they've got carbonated plumes rising up from the surface made up of what kind of gas? Martin Luther King. Carbon dioxide? Carbon dioxide, hence the seltzer reference, seltzer water and carbonation. Absolutely right. All right, good start there for King. Go again. Zoo Parade for 10, please. Zoo Parade, 10 points. Teams, when astronaut Neil Armstrong walked and moved and jumped on the moon back in 1969, he said, I feel like one of those Australian marsupials. Martin Luther King. Kangaroo. He said, I feel like a kangaroo jumping around because of the reduced gravity up there on the moon. Yes, sir, go. Body system for 15, please. Body system for 15 points. Teams, someone with macular degeneration and glaucoma is often considered legally what? Benjamin Tasker. Yes, ma'am. Blind. Blind, yes. Legally blind. Good answer. Okay, Reg, you're on the board. Go, Tasker. Green things for 20, please. Green things for 20 points. Teams, the remains of the dense forest that once covered the entire eastern portion of North America can be found today as deposits of what fossil fuel, Martin Luther King? Coal. Coal, coal is right. Yes, indeed. Good. Go. Lots of coal mines here in Appalachia. Dateline science for 10, please. Dateline for 10 points. Teams, because they mistakenly put a criminal's brain in during the operation, what Mary Shelley created monster wasn't such a nice person. 
Benjamin Tasker. Frankenstein. Frankenstein is right. Yes, indeed. Okay, Sydney. Zupre for 20, please. Zupre, 20 points. Teams, during the political season, which we are in right now, the two most famous animals in America are these two symbols, Martin Luther King. The donkey and the elephant? That's it. The donkey for the Democrats and the elephant for the Republicans. Yes, indeed. Good. Green. Uh, science potpourri for 15, please. Potpourri for 15 points. According to legend, the sacking of Rome was delayed because the emperor offered Martin Luther King. An eclipse? Not eclipse, no. Good try, Benjamin Tasker. The sacking of Rome was delayed because the emperor apparently bought off the invaders with 3,000 pounds of this most popular spice, which is often paired with the condiment salt. Pepper. Pepper, that's it. Yes, good. Uh, body systems for 20, please. Body systems, 20 points, teams. Former baseball player Tony Gwynn, who used to chew tobacco, was recently diagnosed with cancer of the parotid gland, which is the largest of what kind of gland that produces salivary amylase? Martin Luther King. Um, spit. Um, the Sal mouth. Saliva. Um, Not quite. Enzyme? Judges? Yes, we're giving that to you. Absolutely right. Yes, the saliva is what we wanted. The salivary gland, the parotid is the largest of the salivary glands that produces an enzyme that helps to digest food. All right, green. Um, green things for 10, please. Green things for 10. Teams, while mostly bagged today, it was mostly a loose version of this plant that was dumped into Boston Harbor during the American Revolution. Martin Luther King. Tea. Tea, the big tea party. Yes, good. Green. Uh, body systems for 10, please. Body systems, 10 points, teams. You know, chameleons can change color, but so can we. We can turn green with envy, red with shame. We can get blue with cold. And we can turn this color if we're cowardly or have jaundice. Benjamin Tasker. Yellow. Yeah, yellow belly. Yeah, go. Red. Uh, let's get physical for 20, please. Physical for 20 points, teams. The large plates that move across the earth during continental drift are known as what kind of T initial plates? Benjamin Tasker. Tectonic. Tectonic, you got that right, good. All right, and the buzzer is rung, and boy, what a good first round that has been. Benjamin Tasker, 120, Martin Luther King with a slight lead at 160. We'll be back with this fast-paced game in just a moment. Don't you go away. And welcome back to Science Bowl. Nice to have you with us today. We've got six fine players here, four of whom have been here a number of times before. We have two brand new players. Let's introduce them to you now. Let's go first to Benjamin Tasker, to our veteran, Sydney. Nice to have you back with us. Sydney, how many times have you been on our show? Three, I think. Three times now. It's always good to have you. You're an excellent player. Tell us about Tasker. You're over there in Bowie. Who's your principal? Miss Coley. And out there rooting for you. And who's your sponsor this year? Miss Wilson. Miss Wilson, she's out there in the wings. We'll bring her out in a moment so all of you can meet her. And did you have an alternate on your team? We had Stephanie, but she didn't show up. She didn't make it. All right. Well, you guys are more than enough. Tell us about yourself, Sydney. What do you want to do someday? Uh, I really want to major in forensics and hopefully get a job in forensics. Yeah. How'd you get interested in that? Um, just watching TV, and I'm really fascinated with the human body. So. Absolutely. And you know, uh, forensics brings together so many different kinds of sciences. You've got biology and physics and chemistry and engineering. It's just a, it's a real litmus test of whether or not you understand uh, all of how science works. Patrick, nice to have you with us today. You want to be a physicist someday, I understand. Yes. Tell me how you get interested in that. I like to watch a lot of space shows. Ah, cool. All right. And what do you do in your spare time when you're not watching TV? I like to play my guitar, bike. Um, play games. Very good. All right. Good to have you on our show. And Haley, I know you, you do lots of things. You do karate, correct? No. What, tell me what you do. Um, I bowl, play soccer. That's read. right. You're a bowler. And what do you like to read, by the way? Um, I like to read any book. Again? There's no specific type. No specific kind of books. You're one of those omnivorous readers. Anything that is put in front of you, you'll read. Well, that's, that's just great. Readers do so well on our program. And you told me your best bowling game is? 215. 215. That's pretty darn good. And you bowl the 10 pins where? At Crofton. Good. All right. You're playing a nice game. Keep it up. Martin Luther King, all returnees, all have been on our program before. Some of them, we've watched them grow up. We've got a brother and sister act over there, and Zach, uh, you've been here many, many times. Liam, let's start with you. How many times have you been on our show? 
I believe this is either the sixth or the seventh time I've been on this show. And before you represented Martin Luther King, you were at what school? Bond Mill Elementary School. Absolutely. You and Ann Therese, your sister sitting over there. And Zach, you were also at Bond Mill, so you've kind of grown up on science bowl here. Liam, tell us who your principal is at Martin Luther King. Our principal is Ms. Robin Wilterson. Yes, and she's been there many years. I knew, when, knew her when she used to teach at Martin Luther King. And the sponsor of your team? Our sponsor is Ms. Elizabeth Reyes. Yes, and she too has been with this team for many, many years. She's a terrific teacher and always spends a lot of time getting the kids ready just perfectly for their competition. And someday you're going to? I'm going to major in chemistry, actually. Chemistry, and that's a, been an interest of his that has been consistent over the years. And I know you're a soccer player, aren't you? Yes, Absolutely. I am. And, Antress, what's it like being on this show with your brother? I guess, I guess it's pretty fun. <laughs> it is pretty fun, and you guys seem to get along so well together. How do you know so much about science? Well, mostly because when I wasn't on the science bowl, Liam, I was watching all of his shows. Mm -hmm. And then I got interested in science and started reading a lot of things about it. See, so you're, you're a role model. You're her hero over there, Liam. And I, that's a great responsibility and a nice compliment. And what do you want to do someday? Someday I want to be a soccer player, a marine biologist, a chemist, an actress, singer. A lot of things. You've I got think. so many options out there. You're so talented. I know you'll succeed at whatever you choose. And you told me you've already acted in some elementary school productions. Good to have you with us. Zach, always good to have you back with us. You've been here a, a number of times. You're running out of fingers to count them. Tell us about yourself. What do you do in your spare time? Uh, I play with my friends, play sports. I um, play soccer on the same team as them. Um, and then I um, join the baseball team at our school. Cool. What position do you play? Um, second base. Second base. And what do you want to do someday? Um, major in something in, with, to do with science. Well, we wouldn't expect anything less from you after all you've done and how well you'd succeed on our science bowl. All right, let's get back to our game. It's a close one. Tasker 120, Martin Luther King 160. Last correct answer came from the red team. So, Sydney, lots of points to give away yet. Where to? Science potpourri for 20, please. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, your question is as follows. Some fungi are known to create their own breezes to help disperse these. Benjamin Tasker. Spores. Spores, absolutely right. The way they reproduce. Good, go. Science potpourri for 25, please. Potpourri for 25. The big one in that category, teams, the Chilean miners. We all know about them. They received, you know, they, were, they were given this most common of analgesics to help prevent blood clots before they ascended up to the surface. What kind of medication were they given? The most common analgesic. They were given aspirin. Aspirin. Aspirin is a pain reliever. Analgesic means pain reliever. Try again. Red. Um, let's get physical for 25, please. Physical for 25 points. Seems look at the monitor in the studio, if you would, please. Damien Hurst, a sculptor, caught a shark and spent over three months in a hazmat suit injecting that shark with what kind of preservative that we now associate with the toxic substance used to preserve frogs in high school biology labs? Okay, Martin Luther King. Salt. Not salt, no. What kind of toxic chemical was used for many years to preserve the frogs that were dissected in high school biology classes and is now surrounding that shark to keep it from deteriorating? It's called formaldehyde. Formaldehyde and it used to make your fingers turn hard when you picked up the frogs. It has been outlawed for a number of years, so I'm not surprised that you don't know that. Uh, I'm glad you don't know it in some ways. Go red. Zupray for 25, please. Zupray for 25. Look back to the monitor. We have a picture for you. Multiple choice question. Teams, Samuel Coleridge's famous poem, The Rime of the Ancient Mariner, was about a sea captain who shot this bird. It brought bad luck to his crew, and he was forever after doomed to wear it around his neck. Martin Luther King. Yes, sir. Seagull? Not a seagull. He had to wear this bird around his neck. The choices are, I told you it was a multiple choice question, is it a pelican, a frigate bird, or an albatross? Albatross? Yes, indeed. The albatross around his neck and his crew mutinied. Absolutely right. And with that, we have a new leader, Benjamin Tasker, by five points, 165 to 160. Go Sydney. 
Dateline science for 20, please. Dateline for 20 points. Your team is, your question is as follows. The Nobel Prize in physics this year went to a man who discovered something called graphene, which is made up of the same chemical element that is used to make up graphite, Martin Luther King. Carbon? Carbon is right, yes. It's a form of carbon, and it is a very good conductor of electricity, better than copper, and a very good insulator as well. Good. Green. Let's get physical for 10, please. Let's get physical. 10 points. Question is as follows. Teams, at one time, the ancients thought that there was the face of a man on the moon. They also believed that there were man-made canals on what nearby planet? Martin Luther King? Mars. Mars, yes. They thought that there were canals on Mars. Go. Green. Zoop Parade 15, please. Zoop Parade 15 points. Teams, on the television show Dexter, where there are a lot of dead bodies, the director recently had to go out and buy 5,000 of these housefly larvae to put all over to make it look real, Martin Luther King. Maggots. Maggots, yes. He's a maggot rustler. Good. Go. Green. Science potpourri for 10, please. Potpourri for 10 points. Teams, birds oftentimes figure in literature. The book's called To Kill a Mockingbird. I know why the caged bird sings. One flew over the cuckoo's nest. And Baltimore's own Edgar Allan Poe wrote about this bird. Benjamin Tasker. The Raven. The Raven. Quote, nevermore. Good. Red. Green things for 25, please. Green things 25. Big one in that category. Teams. Those plants that were able to grow faster than gymnosperms, the seed plants that could grow faster than gymnosperms, and thus out with the dinosaurs that hoped to eat them, lived during what geologic? Martin Luther King? Paleozoic era? Not the Paleozoic era. All those kinds of trees, those kinds of seed-bearing plants that outgrew the gymnosperms and thus grew faster and outwitted the dinosaurs that wanted to eat them, lived during what geologic period? Cretaceous. Jurassic, as in Jurassic Park. Go red. Uh, body system for 25, please. Body system for 25 points. Team's two-part answer. Listen carefully. Doctors have recently discovered that renal cells may need insulin. Renal cells may need insulin to thrive, meaning what two body organs are intimately connected? Renal cells, renal means kidney. Insulin comes from the pancreas. Kidney and pancreas was your answer. Go, red. Dateline science for 25, please. Dateline for 25 points, teams. French scientist Louis Pasteur discovered the first vaccine for this viral disease. Martin Luther King. Um, bacteria? Nope. Benjamin Tasker. French scientist Louis Pasteur discovered the first vaccine for this viral disease, often associated with animal bites. Yes. Answer, please. Uh, rabies. Rabies is correct. Yes, good. Red, go. Green things for five, please. Green things for five points. Teams, your question is as follows. Peepers is the term that we give to people who go looking at these that change in the fall. Martin Luther King. Leaves. Leaves is right. Yes, sir. Good. Go. Um, Dateline signs for five, please. Dateline for five points. Teams, all over Washington last week, there were Decepticons and Autobots as number three version of this movie was being filmed, Martin Luther King. Transformers. Transformers is correct. Yes, sir. Uh, let's get physical for five, please. Let's get physical for five points. Teams, the Crab Nebula, which is a bunch of gas in the outer atmosphere, was formed when one of these exploded. Benjamin uh -huh. Tasker, a star is right. Yes, ma'am. Go. Zoo Parade for five points, Zoo please. Zoo Parade for five points. Teams, there are lots of movies written about this beast, and the characters sometimes are called Elsa, Mufasa, and Martin Luther King. Lion. Lion, the king of the beast. Yes, good. Where? Um, body systems for five, please. Body systems for five points, teams. If someone loses the will to live, sometimes they die of a broken what? Sydney? Heart. Heart. Last question of the game. Science Pope Brief for five points is as follows. If you're heading down to the newest exhibit at the National Geographic, you might say we're off to see the lizard. Sydney? Uh, dinosaurs? No, not dinosaurs. We're off to see the lizard at the National Geographic. Lizards that can compete with Spider-Man and walking up walls and across ceilings. Gecko? The gecko is right, and that is the end of our game. What a game it was. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment.
And welcome back. It doesn't get any better than this on Science Bowl. Came down almost to that final question, a very hard fought battle. All of our six players are winners, and I know you wouldn't dispute that. Our final tally today, it's Benjamin Tasker, 210, Martin Luther King, 225. So, Ann Therese and Liam and Zachary, congratulations, you pulled this one out. And standing back there, Miss Reyes, who is very proud of this team, and also the alternate Jada. I know how happy you are. Miss Wilson, thank you so much for everything. What a terrific game. Patrick and Sydney and Haley almost did it. Rabies brought you right back. You came this close. You're a fantastic team, and we loved having you here. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next time on Science Bowl. Bye now.